Hey guys, so I wanted to explain the difference between spiritual life coaching, which is what I do, and psychotherapy, or aka known as therapy. So psychotherapy, or when you have a therapist, whether they have a master's in social work, uh, or a psychologist, or even a classically trained psychiatrist, um, a lot of the psychiatrists who do therapy or psycho uh, analysis are a lot older. Uh, it's an old method, but basically, what the, the job of a, of a classic uh, psychologist is, you want to help people understand why they do what they do. The idea is to bring insight in their situation. So, the idea is if you understand why you're doing what you're doing, you will stop doing it. So, for example. If you have, say like an addiction to alcohol or something, you would figure out why, like underlying what you're looking for, you know, like what your need is and why you're resorting to alcohol. So usually sometimes you go back to childhood and you figure out like what kind of trauma happened and what kind of unmet need you had as a kid and how you learn to cope in the way you're coping. So it's not necessarily about, it's more about insight, let's just say. It's more about helping someone has clarity to understand. And it's also about having a supportive figure to listen to you and someone to be safe with, let's be honest. It's really um, about kind of venting to some degree. Now. I don't know if this is true for all people's experiences, but in my experience with traditional psychotherapy, you know, the guy had a PhD, uh, like from Cornell, you know, very, very intelligent person, but, you know, he would let me talk and vent and we'd discuss why I was doing what I was doing. Um, and I understood, I had a lot of insight into some of the negative behaviors I had and I had a lot of insight into my family dynamics and the why my parents treated me the way they did and why their parents, to some degree, why they kind of, they learned. So we understood that it was, you know, things that are passed down from each generation, um, negative beliefs and behaviors. Um, so it was really just like an, almost like an intellectual exercise. And it was more, it was very interesting and also the therapist kind of act, acted as like a pseudo father figure, someone I could talk to and go to and like hopefully receive like some sort of comfort from. But honestly, like in my experience, and I think a lot of people's experience, people go for years and years, okay? And people say, oh, it takes like two or three years of like intense work. Well, you know what? That's like, honestly BS. Like it doesn't have to take three years. It could take three days. No joke. Okay. So no joke. It doesn't have to take three years. It can take three days. And the whole point of psychotherapy, again, is insight and analysis. Okay. You want to get, understand why you're doing what you're doing and why your parents did what they did. And maybe that'll help you change your behavior somehow, okay? Which, in my experience, and some a lot of the people I know, it doesn't change their behavior. So yes, you know what you know, you know why you do what you do, but you still do it, okay? Like, yeah, I know my dad did this, and I know, you know, he wasn't able to comfort me in the way he needed, and he was very limited in this way, and he had this kind of trauma, and he he didn't know how to like treat, you know be loving the way I needed them, blah, blah, blah. And this is why, you know, I inject heroin, or this is why I am, you know, why someone is promiscuous, or this is why someone um, engages in reckless behavior. So yeah, great, now you know. But like, what are you gonna do to stop doing it, okay? So now a life, someone who's a life coach, like me, I call myself a spiritual life coach because I use spiritual methods. Traditional life coaches almost have like this very like compartmentalized section and they're like, how are you doing in this area of health? And how are you doing in this area, you know, um, diet or fitness? How are you doing in this area of relationships? How are you doing in this area of career? It's very segmented and that's what they teach these coaches, okay? So I'm a holistic person 
and that ultimately I'm a spiritual person. My, my methods are spiritual tools. So that's what I want to make sure to incorporate to my clients, okay? So as a spiritual life coach, we go over what your goals are. We don't talk about how screwed up your past is. We don't allow, I don't allow clients to go on rants for more than like 30 seconds. I stop them. I stop them and I redirect them towards what they want. And I give them, you know, basically like use, help identify where they want to go. And then I give them a bunch of tools to use to get there. I don't really tell them how to do it because only they know how to do it. I don't tell them what to do. I just give them spiritual tools and I'll give you guys the same tools. So one of those tools is gratitude. Okay. Like people say this all the time. They talk about having a gratitude journal. Yeah. Yeah. It works. It works period. But not just a gratitude journal, like literally going out into the world and practicing those thoughts of gratitude when you're out in the world. Okay. So when shit goes down, you actually are not this reactionary person. You are actually expressing gratitude. Like when negative things happen, you learn that you're in control of your responses. Okay. So that's a tool. Like you learn how to control your responses with an attitude, with a thought pattern that you're going to memorize. So when you go out into the world and someone does you wrong or pisses you off, you react with gratitude instead of a negative resentful attitude okay so that's one method I teach and that's a practical spiritual method okay another one is just general affirmations you talk about what the things you'd like to experience and you kind of work on visualizations so you think about how great your life is gonna be when this happens when that happens so the whole idea is you get yourself into the state beforehand and then you feel so good that it doesn't really matter that it's not occurring. The whole idea is to get yourself into an emotional state that you think that experience will bring you. You you start within and then, then it manifests without. So the whole model I teach is you start within and then without. Because I really tried to really try to arrange the deck chairs of the Titanic and but you know what? Like that's ridiculous. You don't when things are going bad, you don't run around controlling the screen, okay? You or the the the, uh, the top of the Titanic. You know it's gonna go down. So you work on the inside, okay? And number three is just advocacy. Meaning there's not a goal you will have or an experience that you'd like to see that I would ever kill. Meaning I'm the opposite of a dream killer. I'm a dream encourager. Spiritual life coaches realize this is a spiritual experience here on earth and anything is possible. So if you want to do something crazy that so people call impossible or unrealistic, I say, if that's really what you want and you're willing to do the inner work, you will get there. Now, sometimes people want, sometimes people need smaller goals so they could feel like they're closer to manifesting and that's okay. But, um, some of those life, big life goals are good too, like really strong goals. I mean, things that people thought were impossible are possible because well, time doesn't really exist, and this is a world of thought. The world of thought turns into things, and so people's beliefs become true. So no one can stop you from achieving your goals but you. And there's a bunch of other techniques, and there's a bunch of other little nuances we go into. But those are the three things as that I've incorporated with my clients and I feel like they're the best techniques possible I can give. So again, you can spend years in therapy uh, or you could talk to someone like me and we can just get to business and give you the tools and make that change happen. So 
please, if you guys are interested, you can contact me below. I always put my information down. Uh, you can actually just contact me directly. That's probably the best way to go. Um, but if you want to see more of me, just subscribe and leave comments. So, love you guys, and we'll talk soon. All right, bye.